Now today we are going to solve a question on definite integration. The question is integration from 0 to 2 gif of x square minus x plus 1 d of x. Now this is not as easy as it looks because gif is there. And whenever gif is present, we need to break the interval where inside material is integer. So first let's find out the function x square minus x plus 1. Let's draw the graph. Once we draw the graph, I think we'll get a clear idea how to integrate. So let's say this is our function and here a is greater than 0. That means the coefficient of x square is positive. That means it's upward parabola. And second thing, if you check the discriminant, d is less than 0. That is minus 3. And if d is less than 0, that means no real roots here. Now, I think it's upward parabola and somewhere minima is coming. Because if it's upward parabola, minima will be coming here at some point. So f dash of x kitna hoga? f dash of x will be 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Once I equate this at x is equal to half, I think I'm getting a minima. So let's draw the graph of the function. This is y-axis and x-axis. If I plot, start plotting from 0. It's because we have to start from 0 to 2. I can plot for all real numbers, but since I have to integrate from 0 to 2, I'm going to draw this. Now, at 0, the functional value is, I think you can check. At 0, the functional value is 0, 1. The functional value is 1. After this, it's going to have a minima at half somewhere and it's going to increase something like this. Till I'm going to draw till 2 because I have to integrate till 2 only. 2 comma 0 here. Now in between at half we'll be having some minima. So this is half comma 0. At half we can check the easily we can check the values. At half the value will be 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 plus 1. So I think the value is 3 by 4 here. Now once we get this, uh, I think we need to find one more point. See, we are breaking the function for which the function will give you inside material. Okay, so we need to find the values of x where x square minus x plus 1 is an integer. So at 0, it is 1. At some more point, one more point will be there where it will be integer, as you can see. So let's find out where it is equal to 1 again. So x square minus x plus 1 is equal to, if I equate it to 1, at 0, it is 1, but at one more value of x will be there where it is equal to 1. So I think from here I can say x into x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here we got x is equal to 0 and 1 here. So I think at 1 comma 0 it's going to give me again 1. Now let's find one more value here f of 2. So at 2 I think you can check the value of the function. So at 2 the value of the function is 4 minus 2 plus 1. I think that is 3 here. Since it's going till 3 and this is 0 comma 1. I think somewhere it will be equal to 2, right? Using intermediate value theorem, I can say somewhere it will be equal to 2 and visible from the graph also. So I need to find the value of x where it is equal to 2. So let's equate x square minus x plus 1 is equal to 0 to 2 here. If I equate, I think we'll get x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. And from here, I'll get two roots. One of the root is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Now, one more root we'll get from here, 1 minus root 5 divided by 2 that I'm going to reject because that will be on the left hand side of 0. So here one root we got here, that is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 comma 0. Now, once I got the graph, now I can easily integrate the function. Now we have to break the integration where inside material is integer. Now from the graph, we can easily check. So let's integrate from 0 to 1 here. Why I'm integrating from 0 to 1? If you can check here, if I integrate from 0 to 1, See, when I'm, moving, when I'm moving x from 0 to 1, the function value is varying from 0 to 1. And inside, when gif is moving from, as you can see on the y-axis, gif is moving from 0 to 1. And gif is moving from 0 to 1, that means gif is 0, t of x here. Plus, next is, next interval I'm going to select here. Next interval, as you can see, if I'm moving from 1 to 2 on the y-axis, the x is varying from 1 to 1 plus root 5. So, 1 to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So when I'm varying in this interval, as you can see here, the value of y is varying from 0 to 1 and gif of 0 to 1, I think it is equal to 1 dot d of x plus the next interval. Next interval is integration 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. 2. Next is 2. In this interval, if I vary here, the inside, the value of the function is varying from 2 to 3 and 2 to 3 gif is, I think, 2 dot d of x and upper limit is 2 here. Now I think I can calculate this easily. 
so one integration of one means difference of limit difference of limit is i think root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 plus this is two times of difference of limit i think difference of limit here is 3 minus root 5 divided by 2 now if you calculate the sum the sum will be equal to 5 minus root 5 divided by 2 and that will be our final answer and that will be all